Today marks uh, Expedition 12, the Dirty Dozen. Uh, today I think we're just going to try and get the nine pier blocks across and I'm going to level them up. We weren't able to get our order in in time to grab it this morning, so it's going to have to wait till Expedition 13. So here we go. River is looking uh, a little lower than last week. I don't know, we might just put the pier blocks right in the boat because it'll just be easier, I think. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. There goes the first of the three cinder blocks. The pier blocks. I tell you, they're not light. Just a couple hundred more pieces to go. The wood, plywood, roofing. That's work. Fuck a trainer. <laughs> Come out here and build a cabin. Yeah, seriously, that's a good little workout. <laughs> Damn it, I missed him. What's that? It's rain, it's so uneven. Yeah. It makes it that much harder to... Makes it twice as hard. Uh, we got all the concrete pier blocks. Thanks to the Do It Best in uh, Darrington there. Uh, Auburn was the one that said to get them down there. So we did, we actually ended up ordering all of our stuff down there. And they're just going to have it delivered to the store and we'll pick it up. So that's kind of nice. Abram's cleaning up the site here a little bit. That's all we came out to do today because, well, that's all we had parts for. So, one of the boys asked, is this the safe way to do this? You know, with the logs just sitting on the ground and the filings just sitting on the logs. Is it the right way? Well, probably not. Right, like if you asked a carpenter, if you asked a construction guy, is this the right way to do something, they're gonna say no. You wanna put concrete down and you know, do footings and a base and stuff like that. I know how to do it the proper way. You control me all you like. But this way will work and it'll be safe because it's gonna distribute the load over those nine pilings, the whole house. It's not like it's just gonna be able to tip over. So um, you know, would I have liked to done it differently? Sure. But we're packing all this stuff across the river on a rubber dinghy. And that's a lot of fun. Huh, Caver? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. But uh, it wasn't bad today. Uh, you know, we didn't even use our cable. Uh, it's, even, it's even lower today. But, um, you know, maybe that'll come into play later. I hope so. I spent a thousand dollars getting that cable up in the air and we haven't used it once. Oh wait, no. Jack went across it once. So, I hope I just didn't waste my money on that stuff. I'm hoping that it, you know, becomes very useful here soon. See, the cable comes right up to the building site and I'm hoping that we can zip line that stuff and drop it right there. But, it's yet to come into play, so... You'll see once the once the the floor goes in, uh, it'll make a lot more sense. These are um, all this stuff here is just preliminary, and uh, it will adjust it a little bit more as we go. So, sixteen by sixteen, 
doesn't seem like very big when you're packing every piece. Uh, you know, a football field, they get heavy real quick. So, I think Jack and Andre went back to the cabin. I'll show you the trails already growing in. Well, I mean, I guess it's been three months, but I mean, if you look back at the trail, it's uh, it's filling in already. So crazy beans. The reason why they're up like this, and the reason why I'm doing this, is because uh, this is a flood zone. So it's really hard to tell from here, but we're in between two big mountains. There's a big mountain back there up over the truck and if you were to walk straight back that way you'd hit the water again. Both of them the Sauk River. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this house up as high as I can so we're safe. That's the reason why it's on the stumps and on the on the adjustable blocks and then I'm using 2x12s that'll go another foot up from there so by the time we're done the bottom deck of the house like where you stand should be four feet above the ground here and at ground level here we're probably at least four feet above the road now from what I understand the, the river has only crested the road once in the last say 20 years uh, so that's what they call the 100 year floodplain. And um, so I'm hoping to be, I don't know, eight foot, eight foot above the floodplain. Man, even if I just got four foot above the floodplain, we'd be okay. So that's the danger of living here is that we're in a floodplain. I'm not worried, I've lived in a floodplain before. Uh, shout out to all the Tussie Road people that still live in a floodplain. Um, you know, every year it floods there and the river floods the whole town, so or the whole road. And we would break out our boats and we would go play in the river. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find things to do when it floods here, but I don't think it's going to come up this high. But we'll see. Well, we got done pretty early today, so we're finishing up our lunch and we're going to go sit on the beach. This is the beach that's kind of closest to us. And it's cool for just dipping your feet in. Just fell down. Andre's rocks are still up. Newt is going to love this. Yeah. Newt is going to go effing crazy on this. Hands up for outrage. Yeah. Next week. Bring everybody next week. Little logs right here, part of Hank's old bridge. But now it makes a perfect seat. Yeah. 
I guess we're relaxing today. It's the least work we've done. <laughs> Expedition 13 will start building. Unlucky 13. <laughs> this week's the Dirty Dozen. We got the Unlucky 13 coming up. Hopefully it's not unlucky. Yeah. No, it'll be a good one. We, we got everything set up. We just need the 4x4s. Yeah. 2x12s, 8 sheets of plywood. Be done with stage 1. We would have done that today if it was totally. we came in earlier. Yeah. I mean, really, moving those cinder blocks was a ton of work. It was a ton of work. <laughs> it really was. Heavy. I mean, they got to be at least 50 pounds. Yeah, and then just walking it back to where the cabin is. Over the uneven ground. Yeah. Yeah, it's a workout for sure. Yeah, I moved three of those. You did, yep. I was, <laughs> and I mean, I was... You did the majority. I was, I was like, <laughs> just completely wet from that. Yeah, yeah. I know. Me too. Oh, this so, beer is so good. Well, I think that's the end of uh, Expedition 12. We'll see uh, next week when, uh, what do we call it, the uh, Unlucky 13, Expedition 13, Lucky 13. Yeah. We'll do the Lucky 13 next week. Hopefully we get to bring the dogs and the kids and... You got it or you need some help? I got it. Okay. You step on the thing? Arm workout, yeah. I feel it burning too. Alright, that's the end. See y'all next week.